Okay, so this is a brand new 2016 VM. The only thing I've done is installed VMware tools, and I've also disabled enhanced security configuration for Internet Explorer. I don't normally use the web platform installer, but for this video I'm going to show you how um, we can do that on here. The first thing we're going to do is download the web platform installer. Personally, I've not had good experience with web platform installer configuring anything. I just use it to download all the prereqs for um, application request routing. It makes it a little bit easier. All right, so once this comes up, we're going to search for um, ARR 3.0. And we're going to do add and then install and accept. So you can notice there's a few different components it's installing. URL rewrite should be one of those. Okay, so we can see that it's showing everything installed correctly. Let's go ahead and launch IIS. Which might not actually be installed. So we're probably going to have to install that ourselves. It's not. So if you're watching this video, you probably already have it installed on your own. I'm going to go ahead and install IIS, and then we'll come right back. Something I like to install is HTTP redirection. Also like to have logging tools on there and dynamic content compression. Uh, URL authorization, IP and domain restrictions are handy if you're wanting to lock people out. 
And I'll have to do it at the firewall level. While this is configuring, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the host file on my local machine. And what we're going to do is redirect, um, or what I'm going to show you how I'm going to do is redirect one of the websites to this new application request routing test that we're setting up. So it's in C, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC, and then Host. So my IP address is 10.250.250.23. And I'm just going to put that the main website. So now when we browse to the main website, it's going to redirect it to um, this VM. So in theory, it should not work. And it's not because we're stuck at connecting, so that's good. All right, so since this is finished, we can pull up the IIS manager, and we can see we have the default website running. So application request routing is set up here. All right, so at this point you can add a drive for um, temporary files. And you can limit the size of it. I'm just going to do one gigabyte. Next thing we're going to do is look at the um, URL rewrites. So we can add a rule. Well, first we want to actually, I'm sorry about that, we want to go over here to server farm and set up a new server farm. So right click on server farm, create, and we can just call this uh, WFE for web front end. And we're going to put in the host name or the IP address for the web server. If you only have one, you just have to put the one. If you notice on advanced settings, uh, you have the option for different ports. So if your server is not using the default port, for example, if WFE01 or 02 wasn't using port 80, you could change that here. That's helpful if you have an application that's not using the default SSL or HTTP ports. All right, so it's going to basically route all traffic automatically if we hit yes. If we hit no, it won't do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit no just so we can set the rule up together. So right now we can look at caching. This cache is enabled, and it's got a 60-second cache duration. Server affinity is turned off. I'm going to go ahead and turn on client affinity and click apply. So this software is basically a reverse proxy. That's what it's doing for us. So let's go into URL re rewrite. We're going to add a rule and we're just going to start with a blank rule. So we're going to call this rule WFE um, cluster. You can call it whatever you want. We want it where it matches the pattern. The pattern is going to be asterisk. Conditions are going to be blank. And we're going to route to server farm as the action. 
and we're going to choose Server Farm WFE. That's the only one we have so far. And then I'm going to click Apply. So now if I try to go to the website, should redirect it through here. And I probably didn't turn off the firewall and that's why it's not working. I'm just going to turn it off for now. Alright, well it's still not working, but when I looked under uh, the caching, it says that it's not available because the working process is not currently running. I believe that's because Windows didn't reboot after installing IIS. So I'm going to go ahead and restart it real quick, and we'll see if that fixes it. <laughs> 